What's up everybody? I, I was just sitting here at home and the thought crossed my mind why do people cheat? Not necessarily why do men cheat or why do women cheat and we know that we live in a society where people lack discipline. People have no discipline. They do whatever they feel like. We, we, we live in a, a Burger King world where everybody wants to have it their way. And unfortunately, you have found or met or have been involved in relationships with people with that mentality. No matter how committed you are, no matter how much you express love to them, no matter how much you validated them, no matter how you build trust with them, they just cheated on you anyway. And I'm quite sure by now a lot of you have learned the most valuable lesson that you're ever gonna learn in this life and that is you cannot control what a person does does no, no matter how safe you make them feel don't matter how secure you make them feel if they wanna cheat on you they're gonna cheat be it men or be it women it's gonna they're gonna cheat and I'm a man I can tell you I experienced it and I know too many women that come to me all the time for advice they're like philosopher what's What's up with the brothers? Why is it that men are not faithful anymore? And I can honestly tell you that from a man perspective, I feel the same way. I watch women and I see that many women are just very unfaithful. And so I had asked myself the question, well, why is this? What is the problem? It's not necessarily a gender thing because we love to do that. We love to put them in a category and say, well, it's the men and some men might say it's the woman. Well, why do people cheat in general? Well, I want to begin by simply saying people cheat because they want to. We're living, in, we're living in a world where people do what they want. Okay, not to sound repetitious, but people do what they want. And so you really need to know that when you get into a relationship, that you are in a relationship with a mature person because immature people they, they whine, they complain, they do what they want. When, when they don't get their way, when you don't do what they want you to do, they will go somewhere else. You know, it's like the buffet line. That's how we, that's the way we live. Every fast food gives you choices. We have all type of choices. And so they, they treat relationships like that. Or I'm just going to test drive and see if I like the way this car works. If it doesn't work, I'm taking it back to the car lot. And that's what they do. They, a lot of you get used because people come into your life with no good intention. They never had the intention of staying in the first place. They, they're just there to see, you know, to get what they want. Um, secondly, they, 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 they cheat because they're inconsiderate. They do not care about your, your, your feelings. They do not care about how, they, how you were hurt. They do not care about bringing you diseases. They do not care about the, the, the kids. They do not care about getting somebody pregnant out of wedlock. I mean, out of the relationship, at least being inf in, uh, having infidelity or being unfaithful. They don't care about it. And so they feel like everybody that gives them a little attention, that they have to respond to that, that they have to answer to that. They feel like they have to, have to do something about it. One of the other things, other reasons that they cheat is because of a lack of self-esteem. They don't feel very proud of themselves. They feel like they're nothing. They, maybe somebody made them to feel that way. Maybe somebody in their past cheated on them. Maybe growing up in their, in their childhood, they experienced abandonment. Maybe they experienced um, molestation or something. Some people have really psychological issues, real bad psychological issues. And I think it's important that you pay attention to those signs. If you see somebody being controlling, if you see somebody being abusive with their words, you want to pay attention to those things. Th those are signs from, from childhood, signs from the past. And so you have to, you know, I, I always tell people that, you know, we do background checks when we go to work, when we go get a new job, but when it comes to relationship, which is our life, our livelihood, which is our future, we don't do a background check. Yes, I'm suggesting that, you know what, go get a police report. <laughs> go get a background check on the person you're dating. You know, check their history. 
You know, I wish there was a way we could do a relationship background check to see how many people you've been with, who, how the relationship ended, <laughs> and, and we can get the testimonies of the folks you were involved with so they can really tell us what you're like before we enter into that mess. You know, I, I know, I know, I know the, the, the danger of being in a relationship with someone who, who's unfaithful. I know the danger of being in a relationship with someone who uh, is mentally and physically abusive and, and emotionally abusive. Um, I know what it's like to be in something that makes you unhappy. And you stay there. Now, this is, this is another point, okay? Because some of you ask, well, why do people cheat? The question now I have to ask you is, why do you cheat on yourself? Why do you cheat on yourself? Why do you stay in that? Why do you accept less than you deserve? That's the question you have to answer. Because, because you see signs and it is never enough for you to walk away. And so you need to ask that, answer that question. What is it about me that makes me stay in this bad, abusive, you know, you know they're lying to you. So, now, some of you may not have proof and so that's okay. If you don't have proof, then there's very little you can do. But if you have some, you know, you just suspect something. If you feel a little insecure, now listen to me, that what I'm about to tell you, you're not going to believe that I'm going to tell you this. Even if that person isn't cheating, if you feel insecure and you find yourself being over jealous and insecure, because maybe you have reasons. Maybe you, you used to, maybe you used to be a cheater and you have reason to be insecure. Maybe somebody used to cheat on you and so it makes you insecure. Do me and do the person you're in a relationship with a favor. Rather than staying there, being insecure and unhappy, walk away. Walk away. I tell people all the time, walk away. Somebody may say, well, what? Is that your solution for everything? No. My belief is this. You don't have to stay. You know, there's a song that says, I, I would rather be alone than be unhappy. You don't have to stay anywhere. You don't have to accept anything that you don't want to accept. You deserve to be happy. And if for some reason, something is making you unhappy. Now, I'm, I'm not saying walk away for every little stupid reasons. I'm saying when people are giving you good reasons for you to believe that they are being unfaithful or they're being abusive or hurting you in any kind of way, you owe it to yourself. You are to love yourself enough to, hey, pack your bag and walk away or send them away, one or two, you know. So I'm saying to you that you have to you have to see yourself differently you know it's okay for us to talk about the people who are cheating on us but what about ourselves what is it that we're doing that allow people to continue doing that you know you can't control what they do but I think once you have an inkling once you have an idea that something is wrong you now have a decision to make I don't care if there's kids involved I don't care if you have a house together I don't care if you have a car together. I don't care if you depend on them to help pay your bills. There is nothing that is worth losing your life, losing your self-worth over. Because the, the price that you're going to pay in the end is not going to be worth it. You're going to lose more than you gain. Yes, they might pay your bill, but guess what? You're going to lose yourself. You're going to lose your identity. And so you want to love yourself enough to walk away. People cheat because they're greedy. They just can't have enough. One person is not enough. Listen, I used to be, and when I was a little younger, I used to, I used to be a cheater. And when I said cheater, I, I didn't go out looking for women to cheat. It just, you know, when women come around, I didn't tell them no. Some of you are, if some of you brothers are watching, you, you might be guilty of that. When you don't love yourself, you have self-esteem issues. I used to have that, where I, I, I felt like I needed the validation. I needed the attention. And God had to heal me from the pain that I was dealing with. God had to heal me from my past. And, you know, I didn't know how to say no. And so you end up with two and three women just flirting and just, you know, you, you, you overdo it. The next thing you know, it, it leads into something else. And God had to help me. God had to heal me. And now I can honestly tell you that I know that men cheat. A lot of men cheat because they don't know their own self-worth. A lot of men cheat because of their egos. So a woman comes to them and say, hey, I find you attractive. I'm, in, I'm interested in you. Instead of saying, look, I'm in a relationship. Instead of saying, look, I don't get down like that. You know what they do? They feel the need to prove something. Oh, I'm a man. The ego get in the way. I'm a man. I'm going to show her. I can, you know, I had a girl came to me one time and said, oh, you can't handle this anyway. And that was her way of playing reverse psychology on me. 
to try to force me. But you know what? Because God had healed me, I learned how to say no. And I know it's hard for women to, ha to hear that. I figured that out, that women don't like rejection. But let me tell you, when you are in a faithful relationship, you have to reject them. If you are men, you have to reject them. If you are a woman, you have to reject him. Forget, don't be, don't be starving for attention. If your man is not giving you the attention that you need, talk to him and tell him, look, you know, I'm, I'm feeling very vulnerable lately. I, I, I need the attention because you're not giving it to me. I find myself liking what other people are saying and you don't want that in your relationship. Okay, people cheat because they don't have God. Now, I'm not saying that because a person have God or because they're a Christian, they're going to be faithful because I, some, of, some of them are the worst. What I'm saying to you is when you have a real relationship with God, you understand that God give you one rib as a man. God, God don't give you spear ribs. God give you one rib. God made one man for one woman. Now I know in the Old Testament, back in the day, they used to have many wives. Um, and that was the culture of that day. But we are not living in that culture. Okay? One man for one woman. Okay? Any man that wants to have more than one woman, any woman that wants to have more than one man is greedy. And they're selfish and they're, they're inconsiderate. That's the problem. They're inconsiderate. They're selfish and inconsiderate. They only care. They want their cake and eat it too. They only care about themselves and what they can get. And that's not who you want to be in a relationship. If you see people doing that to you, don't wait until they bring you HIV. Don't wait until they start putting their hands on you. Walk away. Walk away because you deserve it. Take, if you got kids with them, take the kids and go your way. You know, and on your way out, sing that song to them. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. That's what you go. Goodbye. You know, see you later, alligator. And, and you have to do that. And I know it might sound funny to you. But I, I do not play about this. I, I do not play. When, when people come to me, I do not waste time. Now, listen, I, I, I evaluate the situation because every situation does not require you walking away. However, when you are being abused mentally, you're being emo abused emotionally. You are being abused physically. Or you're being abused spiritually. Some people are using God to manipulate you into staying in the relationship. If you're not happy, something is wrong. If you, you deserve to be happy. You don't have to stay in anything that makes you unhappy. And so people cheat, like I said, because they want to. Okay? They cheat because of the examples that they have had in life. They cheat because that's what society has taught them. Oh, it is, you know, I know women who tell me that. Oh, well, you know, it's not so bad when a man do it because society expect, you know, you expect a man to cheat because that's society. No, not because everybody's doing it means that it's okay for you. Who says that you, who says that you have to accept that? You don't have to accept that. You deserve much better. I don't care if a million people are doing it and I'm the only person who's being faithful. You better be faithful. You bet. You deserve that. You better be faithful. Because listen to me. You know, I I I I tell people if 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 I can't if I can't trust you at home, if I can't trust you out there. How am I gonna? I can't trust you with nothing. I can't trust you with my future. I'm not gonna trust you with my kids. I'm not gonna trust you with my money. You know, people just we we need to be real and stop lying to ourselves. Stop being in denial. I don't want to make this video too long, but people need you need to get back to God. You know, because if you can't be faithful to God, you're not going to be faithful to nobody else. Okay? Check your issues. Stop thinking you got to prove something to someone. Learn how to stand up for your relationship. Learn how to stand firm in your relationship. Communicate. Y'all need to talk. Talk. If you talk more, then there won't be no room for cheating. Don't give nobody no opportunity to come in between you and your, 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 your significant other. Don't give them the opportunity. Make your relationship um, a fear proof. Make it, make it cheating proof. And you can do it. First of all, put God in the middle of it. Put God as the head of it. And be honest. Stop lying. Be honest. You know, if you're dealing with people who are secretive, always trying to hide something from you, and, and it's not no big deal, just simple little stupid stuff that they could easily come out and tell you, they hide it. They're being secretive. When you see somebody doing that, pay attention. Pay attention. Because they, they have some secrets they're hiding. Okay, so I just, want, I just want to let you know that you can't change people. You can't stop them from cheating. But you can sure choose to love yourself enough to walk away from something that is hurting you. That's, what I'm, that's my message for you today. Don't stay in a cheating relationship. They cheat because they want to do it. Hey, guess what? 
Walk away because you want to do it. This is Stevan the Philosopher. Thank you.